Windsor councillors voted to keep Windsor Waterworld open, despite administration's recommendation to close the facility to save money. How much money would Windsor save? The uh, estimate was uh, approximately $315,000 for a full year. So if it uh, stays open for half a year, it would be half of that, which would be 157000 or so. While Council's decision to keep Waterworld open will cost the city money, they managed to stay within the budget and not increase the overall tax levy. I'm here at Waterworld. In behind me is the pool, which has been closed for over a year now. The rest of the facilities at this location do remain open, like the gymnasium and meeting rooms for different activity groups, until June, when the city has decided to close down the facility for good. Those programs include fitness classes, as well as after-school programs for kids, which were important to Ward 2 Councillor John Elliott, no matter the fiscal cost. It's sometimes not about the dollars, it's about the kids, that what's it doing? keeping them off the street out of trouble, you know, and then all of a sudden you close it up where the kids have to go, you know, where now they're in the streets, now they're in trouble. What the property will be redeveloped into once Waterworld is closed is still under discussion according to Colucci, but there is a possibility on the table. There's uh, uh, some discussions going on with the uh, school board, uh, you know, that, so there's that potential. If the school board is the path for redevelopment, Elliot says he wants to make sure there is a plan in place to keep the after school programs running. Let's work with the school board and, and having something where there's an after-school portion for those kids. Talk, let's talk to the school. Let's do it now, you know, so we're, we're planning. While the decision has been made for Waterworld, its location will remain a topic for councillors for the coming months. Reporting for Mediaplex News Now, I'm Evan Mathias.